Sada and Kamama from MyLaAndKamama.com and I'm joined by my very special guest today, my husband, and we are going to do a husband tag. You don't know what I had to do to get here. A lot. Right? Yes. Yeah, you can also talk too. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little nervous, so just give him, give him some time. It's his first time. How do you feel? Feel great. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, and you know, just answer. It's funny because he's actually watching basketball as we're filming this. Anyway, so let's just hop to it because I know we have things to do. All right. All right. So I'm just gonna get right into the questions. Ready? Okay. How do we meet? We met working at a bank, and we. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I <did that> part. <laughs> we met at a bank. We met working yeah. at a bank. We both did sales, which you guys may not know. That may be an exclusive. Okay. Okay. Let me just say. All right. So we were working together um, at this bank. It was like we were both in college, so we were really young and. You know, we worked at this bank after school. And do you remember how I think I made the first move? Well, I used to see you and every day when I would walk to my desk, I, I would always notice you. And you always had a book bag on and looked very serious and focused. <laughs> and I always thought you were very, very beautiful. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. I was also very competitive though, because yeah. we were both on the same team. He were no, on. No, but we weren't on the same team at first though. At first, we were on different teams, yeah. and then we got moved to the same team, and we happened to be moved right next to each other. So we started sitting next to each other. Yeah, we were the two like top yeah. salespeople, like so we were always neck and neck. I was really competitive. He didn't know that. Yeah. So <laughs> every sometimes we would get sent home early if you had a certain number of sales, and she would be jealous when I would be leaving early. Whatever. <laughs> I used to get mad though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. He always beat me. All right. So, um, okay. So, how did you know that I was the one? I mean, I knew not immediately, but I knew pretty quick that you were a, a, a great catch, like somebody that you know. Back in the then, we used to me and my boys we call wifey material. <laughs> You were, you were wiping material, so Please. you know you you were the total package. I guess you say you were very smart, beautiful, and um, mm -hmm. you know you, you were, I was very interested. I'm blushing. Okay, <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Um, I actually I actually approached him first. Remember? Yes. yes. And you didn't see it coming. He was very shy, very, very shy. understated. I thought she was out of my league, so I was I wouldn't have made the move. Well, we used to talk. Well, I was a talkative one. He's more of like an introvert. He's very shy. But um, I remember I saw you and I was like, you know what? I don't know. He seems different. You know, quite the opposite from what I normally date. And I just said, in not so many words, let's go out. But <laughs> it was it was very nerve wracking. But do you remember our first date? Yeah. Who the hands? Yeah. Cool hands. Food was good. That was fun. Who made the first move? I think. I think I made the first. No, move. No, I think I did. You sure about that? I think I made the first move. We we're in the car. We were in the car for till four or five in the morning. <laughs> Friday <laughs> night. Uh, we went out on a Friday night and we stayed out until like it was time to go back to work yeah. that morning. The next morning. That was fun. We were just talking and just, you know, having fun. Anyway, anyway, I hope nobody thinks that we, you know, it wasn't like that, but we just talked and just had fun. That's how much we enjoyed each other's company. Yeah. Talk for days. Nowadays, everybody texts and nobody talks on the phone anymore. What do you love most about me? Uh, I love your uh, ambition. You're, you're the Excuse hardest me. working person I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's amazing the things that you do. You know, if you guys knew what she does day to day, like, it's I exhausting. 
Like I can barely handle go working a job and taking care of the kids. And she does that and goes to school and blogs and yeah. a million other things. So yeah. she's the, you know very hardworking, and it motivates me to to step my game Aww, up. Thanks, honey. What do you find most annoying? <laughs> Yeah, a little hard on me at times. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah, a little hard... too perfect. Everything you do is perfect, and then I gotta <laughs> live up it's... to this perfect expectations that you have. It's not like perfect. It's just that like I put a lot of effort into things, and guys by nature, you guys are a little bit less detail oriented. Yes. Like I said, as we were talking, he's literally like the the phone is right there. Watch it. He's watching. He's watching basketball. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So this is kind of so that's what he's talking about about me being hard is because you know sometimes there's stuff that needs to get done and there are things that can wait. <laughs> that's all. It's not being hard, it's just you know trying to work effectively, if you will. Anyway. Okay, so I'm hard. I'm sorry, honey. It's I'll okay. do better. <laughs> Alright, um what, where am I? Uh what okay. Sweetest thing I've ever done for you? Wow, that's a hard question. That's. Uh, I don't know. Marry me? I just we were married, we were married for 10 years. I don't know. <laughs> to pick one thing out of the amount of time that we've been together would be. It would be very difficult. That's a hard question. Okay, like, fair is enough. Is that what this interview is going to be? Just it's, all these questions? Well, it's not exactly a trick question, but you, you did good in answering. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit, and just I'm just gonna ask you like random things. Huh? This one you may find a little bit. More Are you easy. sure people find this interesting? Like this yes, people really find this really? interesting. Well, I do. Oh. Any, okay. All right, let's talk music. Okay. R and B or hip hop? Hip hop. Okay. Um, Jay Z or Nas? Nas. <laughs> all day. <laughs> I like Jay Z. Though. But I, I, I do, I do, it's, it, that's a tough one because mm -hmm. when it came to the battle, I know it's years ago, I'm going way back dating yeah, myself. Yeah, the old school. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think Nas really won that battle. Yeah. I mean, to mm -hmm. this day, Stillmatic is like one of my favorite all-time albums and Ether is like one of my all-time favorite songs. No, he's the best. Jay-Z is very good too. I'll probably mm -hmm. say, uh, yeah, you know, lyric, lyrically speaking. I say yeah. so. All right, but I love Jay Z though. Yeah, I absolutely. love, 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 love Jay Z. I mean, when it comes to like party music, yeah. he, I mean, he runs a gamut from like you know serious, conscious to like, you know, party, having fun. Yeah, I say Jay Z is the mo the best all around rapper. But for my personal views, Nas is my favorite. But yeah. success wise, Jay Z is definitely the best. Absolutely, I agree. Okay. Beyonce or Alicia Keys? I'm gonna have to go with Alicia Keys. I know Why? you're gonna disagree. I, I prefer Alicia Keys music more. It's more my style of music. I like Beyonce, but I I rather I prefer to listen to an Alicia Keys album over Beyonce. I love Beyonce. But I, I love them I, both. I don't I don't dance, so Alicia Keys is more my my style. Okay. I like her albums a lot. I love Beyonce though. She all around. I mean, she could sing, yeah. she could dance. She's just great. I love Alicia Keys too. Don't get me wrong. Um, favorite group of all time? It could be R and B, hip hop, or whatever. Uh, see the Wu Tang Clan, <laughs> Tribe Called Quest, and De La Soul. I can't. I can't pick between those three. Those are my favorites. I know I'm old school. This thing is making me look old. <laughs> But it's probably Tribe Called Quest or De La Soul, I, but it's hard to say. I can pick any of those three. I, I do love Tribe Called Quest, I have to say, Tribe Called Quest. But, you know, I, I'm very much into R&B, so, like, one of my favorite top groups got to be between, like, TLC, Destiny's Child. Um, I even love In Vogue, so it's hard to choose mm -hmm. one, but, you know, I'm going to have to say I'm, Destiny's Child. I'm going with Wu-Tang Clan because they have so many members that are... Okay. Great. So. All right. Good answer. All right. Favorite sport? Do uh, I need to ask this? Basketball, oh, but obviously. lately, lately football has been creeping up on me. Really? Yeah. I don't even know football players. 
Yeah, football has been more interesting to me recently. Okay. Um, favorite basketball player? Right now? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a Knicks fan, but my favorite player all time is Kevin Garnett. But today, probably Carmelo. Cause he's on really? The yeah. Oh, well, I gotta okay. go with somebody in the Knicks. He may not be on he there for not, long. Yeah, he probably <laughs> won't be on there for long, but for today, he's a Knicks. Okay. Um, okay, Kobe, LeBron, or Jordan? Jordan. Not even close. Really? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I think LeBron is second and Kobe is third. I mean, a lot of people may think Kobe's better than LeBron, but I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, I go I by think, attitude, too. I, I go think, by all around. I think when LeBron's career is over, he'll be ahead of Kobe. Oh, yeah? He's younger, too. Yeah, he has a long so, way to go. I think so. Okay, now let's talk your favorite topic. What's that? Hair. Oh, hair. Great. <laughs> Curly or straight? Depends on the day, I guess. I don't know. I do you don't like know. natural hair or do you like relaxed hair? I like whatever you decide to do. Biggest fear? Something happening to the kids uh, or you. Uh, mm -hmm. That's my biggest fear. Mine too. Like you. Likewise. Um, biggest fear ha happening to you, not me, but you know, get the mm -hmm. deal. Um, if you could meet anyone in history, who would it be? And why? Um, I would say Barack, just to uh, to see, just to ask him what it felt like, you know, at the time that he was going through the, the first election, and uh, you know how he was feeling, because it, it it was such a historical time in in, in history, you know, and you know the. the there was a lot of talks of, you know, people, you know, wanting to do, wanting bad, to things. do bad things, assassinate, <laughs> you know, I, I was scared for his life. So, yeah. so just to, to kind of get his perspective on that and if he felt fear or if he, you know, how, you know, how he felt going through that, because it was nerve wracking for me to watch that campaign and, you know, to think there could be some, you don't know who's in the audience when he's, you know, at these caucuses and, you know. It, it was, you know, so to get his uh, thoughts on that, his perspective yeah. on that, that, that would be, because I don't, I don't recall him ever talking about that. I know. Maybe he would probably save enough for the book or something. Yeah, <laughs> his, his other memoir, yeah. right? Favorite holiday? Um, I guess Christmas. Yeah, I'd say so too. I mean, I used to, I find myself, I used to get stressed out during the holidays because I was like, we were like trying to make everybody happy. You know, do we go here? Do we go there? How do we spend it? But now that we have the kids, for me, it's, it's Christmas hands down. I mean, love seeing them open up their presents. I mean, mm -hmm. the, our baby can't open up presents mm -hmm. just yet, but his sister does all the opening up. Probably next year. Yeah, probably next year. But yeah, definitely. See their faces light up and getting them stuff. And I think sometimes we go overboard though, but yeah. it's worth it. They're they're good kids. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, favorite thing and least favorite thing about fatherhood. I mean, my favorite thing is just every day, just getting to, to see them grow and develop and, you know, take new steps and you know the just the progression that they make you know it's amazing to see you know how fast it goes and the the, 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 the stuff that they do from day to day especially you know with baby O as yeah you know, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean just over the last couple of weeks that you know he's gone from crawling to standing up and it looks like he's ready to walk any yeah. day now it's just amazing to see that and you know with uh, Princess. That's not her real name, by the way. The, um, Some people think it's yeah, her real name. That's not her name. Yeah. Um, you know, she's probably going to be reading soon, and she's learning stuff every day. So she's already what, reading. You know, she's reading, but... You know. Yeah, she's... I mean, she just knows the book so yeah. well, and she's starting to identify words, and just seeing her actually pick out the word, like, the, or boat, or cat, like... 
it's just yeah. amazing to me or stop Mm -hmm. You know, she'll spell words, she'll identify words, and she's starting to read a little bit. A lot of it is memorization, but I think, you know, with certain books, she's, like, starting to, like, pick out words. And I, that's, like, such a huge accomplishment for her, and seeing how excited she gets, it's just mm -hmm. unbelievable. Love mm -hmm. those moments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, the least favorite thing. Oh, the least favorite thing, yeah. The least favorite thing for me is like I'm over uh, the <laughs> paranoia. Like you, you're always worried about your kids. Yeah. It's, it's like a, it's nonstop. Like you know, whenever you're not around them, it's you're just hoping they're okay and you know, hoping they're in good hands, which they are. But you just you worry. Yeah. You know, you're constantly worried. I remember I got the phone call at work that she broke her arm. I was like, ah, I could like I I mean that was like one of the scariest moments of my life like she fell at the time we didn't know she broke her arm though but no. the instinct the fatherly instinct kicked in and he was just like you know i think we should just have her get checked out just in case yeah. because she's not really holding on to things properly she's avoiding certain things you know he just saw that she wasn't her normal self and i when i found out she she broke her arm i was just like oh my gosh yeah. that was like the worst so yeah, definitely. That's definitely one of the biggest fears up there. One thing you wish you were good at? We just did that one. Just dance. Like, dance. I was, say dance. Okay, me too. I'm a terrible dancer. Okay. No, she's not that bad. I mean, I, I can move to the beat and yeah. the, you know, I got my rhythm going on, but like choreography, like, forget it. I'm a mess. <laughs> How would you like to be remembered? I just would like to be remembered as, as a good father and husband and, you know, that I worked hard for my family and, and did things the right way. Yeah. You did good! Really? First time! People are going to enjoy watching it? Yes! And to think it took forever! You know what I went through to try yeah. and get to do this? Yeah. And it's simple, it's easy, and we did it. High five. Love you. Love you too. Love you too. <laughs> Am I supposed to just look at this thing the whole time? No, you just—it's like you're just talking to me. Okay. I mean, it's, it's always. Uh, is he, are you gonna hear him? <laughs> Should we ignore him? <laughs> Hold on, let me get him. One thing you wish you were good at, and you're not. <laughs> I say dance. I'm I would say dance. Dance too. Yeah, I'm worse than you. I'm, I'm awful. I'm just terrible. I'm Here, you can hold it. Yeah, always. Uh-oh. Okay. Here. Here, honey. You can hold it. Yay! Yeah, I want this one. Look at that. Look at that, buddy.